Hi, my name is Pascal. Today we are going to have a detailed look at the Rogue Adjustable Bench 2.0. If you want more details on the price and the dimensions, then please follow the links in the description box below as I have written entire articles about the different benches of Rogue to provide you with more information. Now let's get right into it. The Rogue Adjustable Bench 2.0 is a commercial grade bench which is very heavy and sturdy and is definitely suitable for anyone who wants to bench press a lot of weight and also want to do inclines in their own home gym. This is really something that you could put into any kind of commercial grade gym and have the biggest guys doing their weights and this won't budge. It is definitely a considerable step up from the utility bench from Rogue. So if you're a little torn about the price difference between the two, I can definitely and honestly say that the price difference is justified for what you are getting. Whether you want to go that far and actually need an adjustable bench, that is an entirely different topic. But the difference between the two in terms of weight and stability is very, very considerable and therefore also the price gap between the two is justified. So here you can see the action for how to adjust the bench itself. So you can see that it has these metal teeth and then you can link the bench in, do your set and then when you're done you can actually pull this little lever here get up and then put it back into position now this whole action is rather sturdy and needs a bit of strength to move around so i personally find it not that easy to move which i like because it provides more security however there is a little danger with this because here you really have a hazard where you could get your fingers caught and if you do that will definitely hurt so it is not really the most secure bench out there Rogue has addressed that with their newest design of the Rogue adjustable 3.c series which is basically a ripoff of the rep fitness benches which have a cage around this here so it's not as easy to get your fingers caught in this but it's up to you whether you actually want to go with the adjustable 2.0 or the adjustable 3.0 the 3.0 is a bit more expensive in the newer design the Rogue Adjustable 2.0 bench also comes with these little wheels here. So it is quite easy to move it around once you have gotten it to onto those wheels. It is just a bit of a struggle to actually get it lifted. Again, I personally like that because it means it has a lot of weight. But for a commercial gym where you have a lot of people who maybe not be lifting as much weight as uh, semi-professional athletes, this bench might even scare them a little because it's just too clunky and too hard to move and then only a few people will use it for a piece of equipment where you pay quite a bit of money for for your commercial gym. So that is something to be considered. I mean it's in the design, Rogue overbuilds everything that they are doing. I personally like that approach but that might not be for everybody. On the other end of the bench you have this handle to move it around. So again also very sturdy with some extra plastic for your hands so that you're not touching the metal directly and to hurt yourself. As you can see you do need a bit of strength to actually lift it up and put it down. There are also some extra plastic bumpers down here so that you don't have metal touching the ground. So again Rogue thought about everything to actually protect your investment for this huge bench and I personally like it a lot. There's everything you could possibly ask for if that is what you are actually looking for, an overbuilt adjustable bench to press heavy on. For the assembly of the Rogue adjustable bench 2.0, well, there's basically none to be had 
because it comes ready out of the box and is done for you so you don't really have to worry about assembling it the only thing about that is that the package is rather heavy and a bit yeah hard to handle so if you get the delivery of the rogue adjustable 2.0 and especially if you have to bring it up some stairs then or through narrow spaces in your house depending on where your home gym is located then definitely get a friend to transport this one with the rogue arm 4 rack like it comes in piecemeal so that can be actually transported by yourself but this thing you won't be able to lift anywhere just on your own without damaging it so have a friend around or ask whether the delivery guy is as so nice to bring it to the designated space within your premises. Quick comment about pricing and other options. So yes, the Rogue Adjustable Bench 2.0 is definitely one of the higher priced, if not one of the highest priced adjustable benches out there. Not a lot of people want to shell out 700 to 800 dollars on a adjustable bench because they think they might even be able to get an entire gym for that and that is fair that is a very fair comment rep fitness actually has done quite a good bit of work for affordable benches that are about the same quality as rogue so that is their forte even to the extent that Rogue is starting to copy them. Will be interesting to watch the space, whether they start suing each other or that, but that's for a different day. Now, what I will say though is here in Europe, unfortunately you don't have access to Rep Fitness yet because they're not distributing here. So that is not an option. And even if I was in the US, I would not be a fan of getting my rack from Rogue and then my bench from Rep Fitness. So if I was to make a decision between Rep Fitness and Rogue Fitness, I wouldn't just look at the bench itself. I would rather look at my entire home gym and say, okay, for the entire thing, who do I want to go for, Rogue or Rep Fitness? And personally, you know, why save a couple of bucks to then fall short of the best you can possibly get, which is Rogue Fitness. If you really want to save money and get as much stuff as possible for as little money as possible, then I think Titan Fitness is really a better option. They have their quality issues, but at least they're not as bad as getting just something from Amazon, but you save about half compared to Rogue. Now, within the Rogue, portfolio there's also the AB2 and the AB3 bench to consist consider. Now how they are different from the adjustable benches where it's fully spelled out is that they have a pin system to adjust the bench itself which is more secure but also it's more fiddly to actually get the bench upright and these pinches uh, these pins have a tendency to break or to not really work that well and then you have to apply WD, WD40 all of that shebang so that's why I hated these benches in any commercial gym I was in and also that is why I wouldn't get it for my own home gym because this whole tooth action is simpler to use simpler to set up yes a bit more dangerous if you don't click it in properly or if you have your finger between if you are clicking it in but that is just minor and the convenience that you gain from it that is why I chose the adjustable over the AB2 bench now the AB3 bench that is the most expensive one you can get from row and I'll just simply say on that don't do decline work at home by yourself that is a recipe for disaster especially if it gets very heavy if you do that, do that in a commercial gym or with a spotter. And then how often do you have decline really programmed into your cycles? Probably not that much. So do you then really need this AB3 bench for even extra money? I don't know. I personally wouldn't. But of course, if you feel very passionate about it and you have the extra money to shell out, then buy the AB3 because that is the best beast you can get from Rogue. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. Have a very nice day and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.